is <laughs> you know um let me back it up a little bit yeah during these particular times i'm i'm like y'all don't even understand like I'm not going to say y'all don't understand, but there is a lot of people who don't understand exactly what times we are living in. And I just want to say that it is a privilege to live in such times as these. This is like, seriously, like y'all don't, I mean, can y'all see what's going on? For real, can y'all see what's going on? Do y'all have eyes to actually see and not be pulled into into what's trending not being pulled into the glamour of things and not really seeing the reality of things can y'all see what's going on the things that's playing out in the background do you have an eye to see that I pray that everyone can because these are some the these are some serious times all i can see is nothing but violence and crime no that's not really what i'm seeing but that is what i'm seeing these people in power are attempting to really control us. Everyone may feel that they have their own individuality. But somehow, I guarantee you that it's inspired by something in the media. It's something. Like this shit, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Like, even with myself, you know, I find myself, I mean, I try to tell myself, and it may be true, like, you know, like, I got on a wig right now. <laughs> I got on a wig. I got on lashes. I get my eyebrows. But, I mean, these are, I got a nose ring in. You know, but these are things that I like. You know, but these are things that I've seen in the media. These, this is the look. No, this isn't the look. I'm, I'm not trying to hold my life right now. <laughs> That's real though. I'm not trying to hold my life. This isn't a look. Anyway, but yeah, you know, it's a certain. What I'm trying to say is within my deepest desires. Oh, when I said that it was 333. Within my oh, that's see, that's what I'm saying. It's like stuff like that. The the small what may seem seem insignificant signs of what's really going on we're in a great awakening period i know i said that like <laughs> i wanted to use the right words but we're in a great awakening period and a lot of people are being awoken to truth and not only truth but to who they really are I want to tell you an experience that I had. One day my baby brought to me um, this um, app on Facebook. And it was, which Bible character are you? And like I said in, I don't, in a previous video, that this is a time of exposure. People are being exposed for who they really are and things are starting to, this is the great awakening period. This is where the blindfolds are being removed from the eyes. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> so, 
So, back to the whole exposure thing. He brought to me the app. He was telling me the whole scenario of how what happened at his place of employment. He said that one guy did it. He the one. He's the one who actually brought it to the rest of the guys that he worked with. He said, "I, you know, it's this app on Facebook, and I did it, and it came back King, what, what King Saul, you know." And he said it with arrogance, like King Saul, and it was another guy that worked with them. He was like, hmm, yeah, that sounds about right. Because he didn't necessarily know who King Saul was in the Bible. From what was explained to me, King Saul had a very jealous heart. And that's the whole thing about it. Exposure. King Saul fit this man to a T. So we went to, let's go to another employee. This particular person, I'm not trying to put nobody on blast, but let's just say I'm not going to details. One person was King Solomon. One was Peter, I believe, and one was um, I think the one who betrayed Jesus. Who was that? Judas. I was Judas. And guess what my baby was? No, <laughs> so I'm just mad. He was Jesus Christ. He was Jesus Christ. Isn't that crazy? Jesus Christ. When I did it, I was. Queen of Sheba. Queen of Sheba. But ironically, that same day, I was in a lobby, and I looked over to my left, and in this little display track was a brochure for an exhibit of discovering who is Queen of Sheba. Do you know that I just nearly died? I said, I'm in the lobby with people. I looked over. I saw it. I said, oh, my God. Just like that. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I did. I was like, oh, my God. And I went over there and grabbed the pamphlet. Did I go to the exhibit? No. Didn't. But... That was confirmation that this ain't no joke. <laughs> this ain't no joke. And I guess it's not going to be for everybody. But to the ones that this may resonate to, be proud. No, 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 not proud. <sighs> Be grateful for living in such a time like this. That's real. Should I add on to that? <laughs> no, yes, because the point wasn't made. The whole point. I don't know. I don't know. And it's like going into 10 minutes. So I'll come back with a part two because I forgot the point. I'm going to watch this video and then I'm going to come back with part two. <laughs>